Yeah, hey everybody. So today we're going to do something a little bit different uh, and I'm going to show you some interesting ways to customize uh, the listable theme for monetization purposes. So one of the complaints I've got from some folks who are on my list and who are watching uh, these videos on directories uh, is my intense, maybe over focus on the my listing theme. I actually have a client uh, who I sort of foisted the my listing theme upon, who kind of told me in the last like week uh, that they didn't that wasn't their favorite theme. So my enthusiasm for that theme has maybe um, blotted out some of the other great uh, frameworks that are out there for directories, as well as I fear uh, some of you who are now saying, hey, I'm using Listable or Listify or any of those other close cousin frameworks. And you know, while I may enjoy your my listing videos or not, I'm not getting as much out of them as uh, otherwise. So I want to show you uh, some some of the questions that uh, folks have been asking recently about some of these other uh, themes. I think there are lots of great tutorials out there and smarter folks than I who've done you know really you know instructive things with some of these other themes but one of the things that has come up a couple times in the last week is modifying the search uh, element on listable uh, listable has great tutorials but i think the folks behind that theme have kind of stopped really actively developing uh the theme or updating it with lots of new features the last updates were in December, I believe, of 2017. It's now May, late May 2018. So I'm going to show you a couple cool things that you can do with Listable that really, again, this is not an innovation on my part. Um, you know, really none of the videos I'm doing are innovations. They're just demonstrations. But in this case, we're going to change the search fields to just featuring keywords and not location and categories really easy to do and then i'll show you where we're going to move on what i do think this theme does well and i'll show you that in a second so now you have a much more streamlined uh search element and on mobile this really makes a huge difference for me like the the, the search functionality and listable to me is really well done and I'm going to show you, let's see, we're going to go, this is just an example, uh, you know, installation. Um, this eventually is going to be a hyper local uh, sushi uh, community, just about 30 or 40 listings. And we're going to be um, testing some different offers to sushi restaurants in a specific geographical area. Uh, and I'll explain some more of that. Uh, in my private community, how we're going to monetize this because we're doing this in a very, um, uh, you know, experimental way. I'm going to try actually to sell uh, 10 or 12 high end, uh, fully managed uh, online branding kits to some local sushi restaurants in a certain geographical area who currently have really piss poor websites and just terrible online branding, but great food. All right. So all of that aside, Here's something that we're going to do that I think really is is uniquely uh, an advantage to listable. And this is something that a lot of folks have been trying to do with uh, my listing with not much success. So here is the search menu function. All right. So this is the search menu. If you go into manage locations, you'll see these are the menus. You have the primary menu search menu, the footer menu, and I have the secondary menu for this demo disabled. All right, so we're going to go back to edit menus. In the search menu, there are two regions, and this is being uh, pulled from Astoundify, the folks behind Listify. This is their region uh, plugin extension. It's free. This is top picks, which I really like uh, using Listable, so you can actually add anything from here into this drop down search element on the front page and at the top of every site at the top of every page of your site 
Again, if you look at the listable demo, uh, you'll see they have that really kind of nicely styled uh, search functionality at the top of every page. And it has this really cool drop down effect. And you can, in this area here, in the, in the search menu builder, you can specify exactly what is coming into that space. All right, so here it is, search. Here are two regions. Well, this is the default um, demo data. I don't need that because this is not in the city of Westminster, which is uh, somewhere in London, I guess. Here is a listing category, sushi. Here's a product, and this is where it gets interesting. So I called this product cinema, uh, and this is just a discount to uh, buy a cinema product or a movie pass that could be in a, in a local community. You can really do anything here. Here's a custom link, which is also just a link to the shop. And here's what we're going to do. Let's look at products. So these are all the default products they install with the theme. Of course, you can modify this and should modify this certainly for your own needs. You wouldn't be using these products. But let's say this is a Cinemite one here, 58% off movie night at IMAX. Let's say you wanted to add this to the menu, 50% off drinks, uh, off drink flights and appetizers at Bar Baloo. Now, again, you would, you know, you could have a search functionality here that was just pulling products, which is really cool and something that is um, kind of unique to listable in the way they do it. So let's change the navigation label here. The drink up, baby. Let's add an icon, which is also a very cool thing to have. Let's see if we can find a good drink up baby icon. We'll just give it a little, you know, musical icon here. And we're going to save the menu. Let's move it to the very top. Actually, now to the very top. And let's save the menu again. So what we've just done is we've added, in addition to a region, a page, a listing category, a product, a custom link, we've added another product to the search uh, element on the front page. Now watch this, as you dive down, what do you see? The first thing in the search is drink up baby. And if you click on that, you're gonna land right here on this pre-populated product. Now this is a great way of adding featured, um, you know, VIP treatments to your member. So you can actually, I mean, if you're telling a member, hey, on Tuesday, May 22nd, we're going to actually, uh, you know, for $10 or $50 or whatever your traffic can justify, we're going to be adding your product to the front page search as the top thing. That's a pretty appealing, you know, uh, proposition. And if you add that, you know, you can also add the same thing to um, the listings themselves. I don't want to get into that just yet, but using a couple more plugins, and I'll cover this in another video. One of the things that you can do with Listable is add products. So it's WP Job Man Manager Products plugin, which is a premium plugin, but it allows you to add products from the store into the individual listings, uh, sidebars, or product areas, which is a really cool way of attaching products to listings or marrying those two things together. Again, my listing, the theme that I, I obviously have a love affair with, apparently from everyone sort of, you know, eye rolling at this point, that you can do that automatically with that. Um, these other, you know, directories like Listify, Listable, My Listing, or, or excuse me, uh, Listing Easy, uh, etc. cetera, those you need to actually use a paid plugin to accomplish the same thing. You can also use a coupon plugin, which I've demonstrated on many videos 
that is low cost and will accomplish the same goal. And you can also put that, uh, you know, that coupon in here, right? So you can have coupons in this area here. So in this, you're seeing the top of the page. Here's that search, drink up baby, right? Here's our cinema, buy something. Here's a category. All that's very cool and very easy to do on listable uh, using, you know, a, a minimum of uh, coding knowledge. All you're really doing is dragging items from the menu into the search, uh, you know, into the search menu. I'm saying this poorly. I, let's go back real quick just so you can see it again. My tongue is way too tight to make coherent sense. Dragging stuff from here into the search uh, menu here. You can see it's picked here. And anything that you, that you add here with an icon, which is also a very a nice little feature of this theme, using the menu icons plugin, which is free, gives it that sort of extra panache and extra power. All right, hope that helps. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. And if you want more videos on Listable or Listify or those analogs, I'm happy to do them. I'm not a coding expert. I'm a marketing person, but I'm happy to help with whatever expertise I have. Just ask by email or in the YouTube comments below. Thanks.